Please stop coming there. Are you scared? You, are, are you trying to get out? No. I love the highest. Move. All right, Oval fans, with a little dash of Ruthless thrown in there. The question that we should ask ourselves, which honestly I don't really think we should, but either way, should Richard and Nancy help Ruth? Or more to the point, will they? To be completely honest, I think that they will. I said it in my review, and I said it last week in my videos. The only way I could see them not going back to the compound, you know, with guns and secret service ablazing, is for Callie to be used as a bargaining chip due to the fact that, well, that's literally the only thing that could keep, you know, the government from bringing the uh, compound down. But more to the point, to keep the Rakadushi from killing themselves, it's like she said, and we saw this in um, season one, I think it was like the mid-season of season one um when brian went up solo to the compound but then matt called him at the last second because andrew called mac basically to uh tell brian to stand down because at that point you know the kids were in the uh what was it the kitchen or the classroom with the applesauce no the cafeteria with the applesauce and you know the highest gets on the intercom everyone you know sounding more deranged every day if the white man comes up here we're going to see the raku so basically, every, pew, pew, everybody gonna die. Like, they will literally kill themselves off to be with the Raku before the white man comes through the gates of their compound again. So if there's even a hint of just one law enforcement vehicle, they will just all die. And Kali is the only person who could stop them from, um, you know, going to the compound to, oh, excuse me. Callie is the only thing preventing, you know, Richard from telling Sam and everyone to go to the compound immediately. Now, we know Andrew's still on the inside and, you know, he's trying to work things out from his end. But let's get to the bottom of this. Ruth asking for help. I feel like something happens between where we're at now and the back half of ruthless season two which we haven't seen yet i think they filmed season three already but <sighs> clearly there's a gap between where ruthless is now and where the oval is now and somewhere between you know that point and this point ruth who is still trusted and an elder it's unknown as she's married to the highest yet but something must have gone horribly wrong if ruth is crying out for help because of the fact that maybe she found out about Tally dying, maybe all of her quote-unquote allies within the compound, you know, the ones who, River, Joan, uh, some of the people that want to escape, like Lacey and uh, Paula, like all these people who were on the team to like, yeah, let's, uh, you know, get things uh, together so we can get the hell up out of here. Maybe something happened to all of them. For all we know, maybe all of them died. And Ruth is the last one standing, as in she literally has no more allies on the inside of the compound. And her only escape is getting help from the outside. That could be why she was asking for help me. Help. Help me. Come on. Help me. My back is against the wall. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. Nigga. Help me. Seriously, um, I think possibly because of the fact that she is still, you know, elder and whatnot. I mean, I'm going to assume, let's just say she probably, well, no, I don't know if she would lose her title as elder if she's married to the high, I don't want to, I don't know, obviously. But I think that the only reason she's crying for help is due to the fact that things have gotten so bad that she literally has no escape. And I think that hundred thousand plus dollars she had at um, Richard's house was used as a, you know, I guess you could say a method of securing her place as being trustworthy by supplying to the compound when nobody else could, which also could possibly mean that, again, the young girls are possibly killed. You know, the ones who tried to escape Lacey, Paula and Zane didn't escape because she didn't want to. 
but um, they were hurting for cash. Lacey was one of the few young girls they could send out there. But, you know, somebody already got to her for Big Dick. We know that was, uh, I forgot the dude's name. He was a big guard, the one that killed Lilo. Um, so the money could have been used because, hey, we don't have any young, pure girls to go out there anymore. So, yeah, we need to get some money ASAP. And I, like I theorized before, I think the money was probably to get the cartel off the um, compounds back. So what I'm thinking is, I mean, more to the point, something really, really bad happened if Roof is crying for help. You know, Roof, who pretty much came to take her daughter in the first episode, leading to a lot of these events in the first place. But what do you think could have happened to Roof within the compound that makes her cry out to Nancy and Richard for help now? Do you think they should? And do you think they will? I mean, honestly, at this point, I don't really see what they could do. Um, I'm not, I mentioned the trolley problem in the whole, you know, Priscilla getting shot video, but to use it again, do you think they would potentially, I guess you could say botch the entire operation for one little girl? But remember, even if Secret Service shows up, that they're screwed because they're, they're all going to die anyway. So are they going to risk it all to save Callie? Or do you think they're going to focus more on the operation and get everybody out there they can? It's a interesting concept, and that's all assuming Barry doesn't do something completely stupid again. But this is Barry we're talking about here because I don't know if he's going to be more focused on the Cali thing or pissed off about Sharon and Kareem. So let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'm pretty sure at this point, Richard, he'll try to talk to Sam, but then Sam will talk to his contact at the FBI, possibly Mac. And that, I don't know if that's really going to do anything. Because remember, they can't make a move. Like, they know for a fact from experience, especially with Brian trying to do it, you go up there, they're all going to die. You're going to spook them. So, I guess Andrew is the best man to get the information he needs to secure the arrest of everybody there. But like I said, if even if An Andrew, he can get out somehow because he's being trusted there. And uh, like, you know... Sam said he has a man on the inside so Andrew is clearly alive at this point in the timeline so unless you know he would have to come out of the compound again and get the information over to Mac but then on the flip side I think either way all the rat are going to die I don't see how they're going to get out of there alive they're ready to die they I mean how do you go after somebody how do you intimidate someone who isn't afraid to die so it's a scary process but let me know, do you think Roof is going to make it out alive? And do you think they can help get her and Callie out? So thanks so much for tuning in, guys. As always, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you next time.